Hi, so today we're going to talk about how to get more YouTube views in 2021 and how to rank on Google and YouTube. Let's get started. So what we're going to cover in this video is how SEO works for YouTube. Basically, it's going to be your title, your description and your tags and the tools that you can use to help you find the best title, the one that works in your content area. Um, how you can check the score. This all helps you really pick the right title and the right tags. You can then check what others are doing to give you better ideas. And then of course, in the studio, this, this studio is quite unique to, um, or I found it quite unique to TubeBuddy in terms of how it works. It's incredibly useful. You just type in your title, your description and your tags, and then it tells you um, what you might want to think about changing to get it to optimize for SEO. So by the end of this, you'll know exactly how to um, create your description to maximize your views on YouTube. The other bit of information the tools have used are Keywords Anywhere, uh, Keyword Surfer, just briefly, you'll see that. Uh, VidIQ, again, briefly, just to double check TubeBuddy, but mostly I'm using TubeBuddy, which is really easy to download from Chrome. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to very quickly um, work out your titles, descriptions, and keywords. I'm going to use Google... Um, probably Keyword Surfer, TubeBuddy, and VidIQ. You definitely wouldn't recommend just using something like uh, Keyword Surfer or Keywords Anywhere. Definitely try and mix that with either TubeBuddy or VidIQ because it just gives you a bit much better idea of competition and search, and I'll show you that. So I've downloaded uh, TubeBuddy. I'll go into Keyword Explorer, and I'm going to put in my term, which might be how to get more views. And you can see that it's fair. You, ideally, you would want it to be in the yellow, which would be middling. So this is the overall score, which looks at the search volume. So uh, green means there's a lot of search volume. And competition, if it's green, it means competition is um, good in the sense that it's weak. And if it's red, it means there's quite a lot of competition. There's actually quite a lot of um, competition for this term. Um, and that gives me a, a kind of a, an average score of, well, it's fair because it's, there's loads of search, um, but the competition's stronger than, than you might want. So you can have, have a look at that and the overall score. Uh, if, you, if you look at um, vidIQ, it does exactly the same thing, volume and competition. This actually has given me a slightly better score. So I'll just have a quick look at both of these and then decide. I really like that term. I'm just going to double check on Google. So how to get more views on YouTube. I'll add 2021 in a second. It's really competitive. It's got some videos in the, I call this a carousel. Um, some people think the carousel goes across the way, but you know, by optimizing your videos properly on YouTube, you're going to end up at some point, you hope, um, either in a a video carousel or just as video as a list and Google really like your videos. So these guys are getting all of this for free. What I'm also looking at on the right hand side is Keyword Surfer and I've got YouTube views in here. And I'm just wondering whether or not to change that around to how to get more YouTube views. Then I'll see how that looks. I'm just liking that rather than saying views on YouTube, so I think I'll use YouTube views and then I'll just come over and check it over here. Just and see how that looks. Oh, look at that. So that's excellent. That's tube buddy. Okay, so that's the term I'm going to use. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to optimize in the SEO. I absolutely love this tool that should buddy had this is where you can write your title and your description and it checks everything that you're doing so on the right hand side i'm seeing the score and and below that i'm getting to see the things i should be doing so how to get more it should all be capitalized by the way in your title so i'm not going to do all of this um you'll see what i've done at the end Okay, so I've added a bit more to this just because I want it to make more sense or I want it to describe more what the video is. But really my the keywords I really want are how to get more views on YouTube. Now, 
in this video. Now, what I want to do here, just so you know what I'm going to do, is I want to repeat the keyword a couple of times and just have an interesting description that's readable. So if you hold on a second, I'll just get that done. Okay, so now I've done my description and you can see I'm getting a, a, a true buddy score of 95%. I've ticked all my boxes of the things that I need to do here. So I've got my, you know, this is my title, how to get more YouTube views. It's repeated here and it's how to get more YouTube views, more YouTube views, but you, you want it to read nicely. Um, you can just check everything down here. Partial marches, yep, so everything's done. So I'm gonna save that as a draft because I keep crashing out of my computer. And then I'm going to go to next. And this is where I have a look at my tags. So here's some suggestions down here. Okay, I'm just adding my tags as you can see. And there's some tag suggestions here. Some more tags here. The other thing I'm gonna do is have a little look at the tags that people are using. I've just done a search on the, how to get more views on YouTube. And on the right hand side, I see what the popular tags are. How to get YouTube views. We'll add that. Get more YouTube views. Okay, so there we go. So now I have my tags. Um, according to TubeBuddy, I'm at 100%. And now I'm going to make my video and create my thumbnail. Okay, so this is what we've been through in this video, how to search for your uh, content ideas and how to check that they're okay. Um, what, and don't forget that with your, um, just your title and your description, actually, you want to write it so that people can read it and understand it with your title. Remember, that's what people will see when you're, um, when they're searching on YouTube and your video pops up. So, you know, try and make it relevant and good, but match uh, what you need to do in search. You have had a look through how things work in terms of how the score works. It's very similar in both vidIQ and TubeBuddy. And again, it's just checking that you want low competition and high search. You've also seen how to add tags and how to check what others are doing. And finally, we had a good um, review of the studio and actually how to, how to use it. Once you've done all of that, you will then create a thumbnail. You will probably want to check what the other thumbnails look like to see if you can stand out. When you upload your thumbnail, use exactly the same description. So when you save the image of your thumbnail to upload, save it as the title of your video because that will help as well. And when you're um, making the video, introduce it with the exact phrase. Again, um, YouTube reads your words, so your words will also help the relevance. I'm going to say it reads your words. The words you use in the video will also help with search. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you like it, please leave a comment. Any questions, please just um, let me know what they are. If there's anything you find particularly useful, please say so. If you want to follow more tutorials, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do more actually on keywords and optimization. Please hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.